Mourners gathered inside Fayetteville's First Baptist Church for the Reverend Clifford Layton's funeral. He served his community as an associate minister here before his death on August the 1st. He's also remembered as a Negro League baseball star. As a ball player, he talked about the challenges that he faced uh, being uh, in, the, in the league and how they were basically ostracized and had to develop their own league. And, but he took the opportunity to make the best of that opportunity. Born and done, Layton's family moved to New Jersey in 1941. His skill as a pitcher and infielder while playing in New York City's Central Park got the attention of scouts for the Negro League Indianapolis Clowns. It's one of the teams set for recognition next June when Major League Baseball televises a game between the Cardinals and Giants from Birmingham, Alabama's Rickwood Field. Rickwood, the oldest professional ballpark in the nation, hosted Negro League games before the major leagues integrated their teams. Layton shared memories of his playing days with us in 2022. I don't like to talk about my ability to play baseball, but I believe that I was one of the best ball players they ever step out on the field. Absolutely. He also played for the Raleigh Tigers, one of the Negro League teams in our area. He retired from baseball, active baseball, in 1960, and he is now a member of the Negro League Legends Hall of Fame. And some of the images you saw in this report came from the North Carolina Museum of History. Reporting from Fayetteville, Anthony Wilson, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.